Hey guys, what's up? I got an RU match for you today. This one's against Da Lucario 25 or the Blaring Blue. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna leave my Lilligant just because I didn't really care about it and I had nothing else to really lead with. He's gonna leave with Sableye. He's gonna taunt. Um, I kind of predicted that more so the substitute, but uh, you know whatever works. I'm gonna hit him with an HP fire. It's gonna do quite a bit. Um, so I know at this point he's gonna probably try and do something funky. Uh, I figured a pedal dance would uh, kill him even if he recovered. He's gonna go for the Will O Wisp, and uh, that's fine. Um, cause it's gonna miss, but not like it mattered. Um, and he's gonna go into his own Lilligant here. I don't know if this is timid or modest. Um, I th think it's timid? It's probably timid. Um, but anyways, uh, he's gonna just hit me with a hidden power, uh, while I hit him with the Pedal Dance. And that does a lot, despite it, you know, having decent base special defense and, um... You know, being resisted, it's still gonna do a crap ton. I'm gonna go with my Sharpedo. Um, I'm gonna protect. He's gonna Quiver Dance, predicting the protect, which is kind of dangerous because if he is modest, and I was jolly, or even at, like if he's modest, I can outspeed him regardless, and I could have killed him. If he's timid, then it makes sense. But again, I don't know if he is timid because if he was, then I won the speed tie before. And I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna go for the double protect. Uh, not a big deal. I don't really need this Sharpedo too much. Kind of, sort of was nice to have, but eh, I do have priority on this team, so it wouldn't have been too big of a deal. Um, and yeah, so he's going to die, because uh, I do get the double protect. Um, and uh, yeah, he's going to go on his Hunch Crow, and I figure pretty much over at this point, because, you know, a stab, adamant, max attack, life orb, waterfall, but it's actually not going to kill his Hunch Crow, and um, yeah, it's, it's not really supposed to, which is kind of weird. I'm like, you never really expect Honchko to be able to live a base 120 attack, you know, 120 base power move like that, but he did! So I'm going to go my Pikachu, which uh, which is the Pokemon that I said had the priority, I'm going to fake out. He brought this Golurk, which, uh, yeah, kind of walls this Pikachu. Uh, it's kind of dangerous that he did that, because if I had Grass Knot or HP Ice, which a lot of them do have, um, he'd be screwed, so I don't know, that's kind of risky. But anyways, I'm going to go my Weezing here. Because as I said, this is my physical Pikachu, and it does get completely walled by Golurk, uh, which is rather unfortunate. Um, and I'm just going to go with my Weezing, I'm going to break the substitute with a Fire Blast, and uh, yeah, his Focus Punch is going to do uh, pretty much nothing. Uh, I know Shadow Punch isn't going to be able to do too much either, so um, I mean it is stronger, but not too much stronger. It's probably like, what, 20 more base power? Something something around there. Uh, so whatever, I'm just going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. It is going to hit. Not a big deal, because I don't think Brave Bird would have been able to do too much to Weezing. Um, anyways, and uh, yeah, he's going to die. So that's fine. He's going to go to his Rhyperior here. I know I'm faster, so um, that's good. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. It's going to hit, and he's going to roar me. And uh, I'm going to go out into my uh, Gardevoir, and I figure, this is my uh, specially defensive Gardevoir, so I don't have Focus Blast or anything like that, so Psychic's not really going to do too much, because I have no investment, and uh, I don't really want him, like, setting up, uh, like, some sort of Rock Polish or whatever, I don't know why he would have that with Roar, but just in case, I don't want him doing anything weird like that, so I Encore him into Roar, and uh, I knew it's just a matter of time before I get, you know, either Weezing or Machoke, and both of them can do a lot of damage to this guy, so, um... Without worrying about the, uh, you know, taking hits and, I mean, again, there's no no uh, Stealth Rock Stop or anything like that, so roaring me out is not a big deal. So I'm going to go for the uh, the Payback, because it's obvious he's going to switch to his Golurk, because it's obvious I'm going to go for the Diamond Angle Punch. Uh, and he's going to take quite a bit of damage from that, but it is not boosted because he switched out. Uh, I don't know if he knew that, but yeah, so he's going to go for the Shadow Punch. I know I'm slower because I have no speed IVs and no speed investment, uh, specifically for the Payback. So he's going to hit first, and I'm going to Payback, and it's going to do double the damage, and he's going to die. Um, again, like I said, I don't know if he knew that it's not boosted, so he was predicting to live that, but, uh, yeah, and, uh, I guess he went for the Shadow Punch predicting my Weezing, but, yeah, no, I'm not gonna go into Weezing. Uh, he's gonna Earthquake me here, it's gonna do not a lot, I'm gonna Dynamic Punch, get the Confusion up, and, uh, and that's good. Uh, at this point, I'm like, yeah, he's, uh, he's probably gonna Earthquake me, but, you know, he's gonna actually hit himself with Confusion. I went for the rest, just, uh, just to be sure, just to be kind of a dick. Um, and, uh, heal up. Not really, I mean, he does have a couple guys left, so, uh, playing it safe here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get my, my HP back. He's gonna go into his Zangoose here, uh, which is, uh, kind of unfortunate. No, sorry, that's next turn. He's gonna go and stay in, and, um, 
get his stealth rocks up while I sleep talk the uh, the payback. And it's going to do uh, a nice little chunk, but not enough to where he dies from burn because of his leftovers and stuff like that. Um, after this payback, we'll just uh, wait a second to let the battle catch up a little bit. Um, talking too fast. Um, so yeah, here he's going to go into his Zangoost. And uh, unfortunately for him, I'm going to sleep talk the dynamic punch. Wouldn't have been too big a deal if I got the payback. Uh, rest, yeah, would have been kind of a bitch. But um, I'm not really sure if he would have been able to kill me with a return. Um, but yeah, I do get the dynamic punch, and it is going to easily Oko him. Uh, I like the name. If you get the name reference, that's uh, pretty cool for you. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use mine because of his stupid freaking getting walled. But anyways, uh, he's going to go back in his rep here. It's going to do nothing. I'm going to wake up, go for the dynamic punch. So that's the end of the battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was a neat little battle. Uh, pretty fun. Not really that close, but uh, I liked it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, see you all tomorrow.